secretaries, and uh, we have uh, many other uh, guests wh whom we address later for welcoming address. I, I give the floor to Jim uh, Hope, USAID Mission Director, Ukraine and Belarus. Дуже вам дякую. Доброго дня всім. Дуже, дуже приємно сьогодні бути з вами на цьому на цьому на цій чудовому цьому чудовому заході. Ukraine achieved a historic milestone uh, with uh, the passage of land reform uh, uh, bills in in the parliament in the Rada uh, that open up new opportunities for farmers and local governments to be in control of one of their most valuable assets, their land. Now, passing this milestone, we, we know, was not easy, uh, and it was not quick. It was a very difficult decision, uh, and a tough decision that took a lot of effort. And I want to acknowledge and express our congratulations from uh, the United States and from USAID uh, for achieving this uh, momentum milestone for Ukraine, for the people of Ukraine. And now, of course, as significant as this uh, reform was uh, and this change, uh, it's just the first step. Uh, we know that. We're all here to talk about that today. Uh, there's still a lot of work ahead, uh, and everyone, including government and business, farmers, landowners, hromadas, media, us, development partners, we all have an important role to play in the implementation of the land reform package of legislation. This, these bills, this legislation is going to and already is empowering communities, uh, creating new economic opportunities, new investment opportunities, and is, prov is improving the quality of life. Now, one of the pillars, one of the, 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 miles, the, the basis, bases of land reform is the transition to new transparent and participatory approaches to community land management. This is an approach that ultimately benefits citizens. And today's conference uh, that we're here uh, participating in is going to build on the experiences of two Hromadas who took the challenge of piloting uh, these new processes. These are the Hromadas of Pisochin and Rohan. Uh, and it's very exciting to be able today to hear how they addressed uh, this challenge of successful community land management. And one of the key lessons uh, that you're going to hear about is uh, from these two uh, pilot sites is that uh, a major issue is uh, for success is the public disclosure of all land data needed for spatial planning. So in other words, transparent data and open discussion with stakeholders are the keys to effective and equitable decision-making for land. Now, these pilot projects in Kharkiv, and greetings to our participants from Kharkiv uh, Oblast, they were supported by USAID, by my colleagues here uh, at the USAID Agro Project. Uh, we're going to hear uh, from the Hromadas about three fundamental issues that they dealt with. The lack of knowledge about land reform, the lack of timely access to the necessary data for land decisions and lack of experience in engaging with communities and consulting with communities. So we're going to hear about how uh, these two pilot areas overcame these challenges. And we're, this is important because though their experiences will uh, be valuable and help guide other Hromadas and go local governments in how they will take on these challenges, how they will publish their data develop spatial plans, and increase transparency. And that experience is important for all 1,469 Hromadas here in Ukraine. It's especially important because all Hromadas will need to obtain data about their own land and infrastructure and publish it and plan how to use it, especially prior to the next stage of land market reform in 2024 when legal entities will be eligible to buy land. So we welcome today an open discussion, a participatory discussion by all stakeholders uh, on the challenges and the successes and the lessons learned 
to implementing effective spatial planning uh, at the local level, at the community level. Uh, for all of us at USAID, we are committed to continuing to support land reform in Ukraine. We appreciate the strong partnership with the government of Ukraine, with Chromatas, with the business community, and most importantly, the people in those communities. So we look forward to working together. I wish you a very fruitful event today and look forward to hearing the experiences from our two pilot sites. Duzhe Dyaku. Дуже дякую вам, пане Хоуп. Ви знаєте, колеги, я іноді нарікаю. Sometimes uh, I regret that Ukrainian language, <coughs> that we have more and more uh, English words coming into Ukrainian language, and also we can see that uh, vice versa, that Ukrainian uh, language empowers uh, English language, like a uh, word Hromada, which entered uh, English language, and uh, people learn uh, names of uh, territorial communities who have never uh, knew where they are. So this, today it's uh, Pisochin and Rohan territorial communities, and I hope that their unique, unique experience will be uh, known to everyone. So the next we are going to listen to the welcoming address of the first deputy of uh, the first deputy chairman of, of the Supreme Council, Alexander Kornienko. Uh, uh, we give you the floor. Uh, Yes, we hear you very well. Thanks. Uh, dear colleagues, uh, I welcome all the participants of this uh, conference, of this online conference, as for the spatial planning of uh, ter territories. And I won't take much of your time. I I'd like to tell that on behalf of the Supreme Council on, uh, and uh, me personally, that we are really happy that uh, the land reform is not is not just voted for in support for and and to let it go like uh, to to drift that as it can and and within the framework of implementing the land reform and other reforms and this is kind of flag, uh, flagship reform and we devoted a lot of time of it to, to it and uh, maybe the whole session so at first we considered for a long time uh, how to use the moratorium and how to start with the centralization and a lot of time was taken for that and it, it, it makes me happy that t today we have a really uh, shop talk uh, on implementation of that reform on the directions which we understand especially with some uh, very sensitive issues as for the uh, spatial ter uh, ter uh, planning as for countering the radaring um, and uh, making it just in, in, in order to have, uh, to have it benefit uh, concrete uh, landowners, farmers. And uh, really, it's really important to say that we are not staying the same step. We, we have done a lot, especially back in 2019. We adopted uh, the necessary bills, which are supposed to counter raider, raidering of land. And also, we understand that this, that still there is maybe a lack of um, information, a lack of uh, awareness and experience, especially among farmers, as for these issues. That's why it's really important to have this uh, talk uh, today, uh, because we have a lot of experts who uh, who are responsible uh, uh, for that issue, especially local local self-governing authorities and uh, our representatives of geo state geo cadastral, and I'm sure that a good start of a land, re land reform, which we have done already, it will, it will give a momentum also in, 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 uh, in the parliament, and it will draw the attention on, on, uh, from public, because we know that the public opinion has, uh, uh, has changed, because now they are ready to support this reform. And I'm sure that uh, we, we have to use this credit of trust. And on behalf of people, on behalf of uh, parliamentarians, and we have to to increase it, to multiply it, uh, and to implement all the constituents of uh, the land reform, especially issues which pertain to a just and qualitative uh, counting and registering of uh, of our of our land plots. And also, I'd like to 
to uh, to extend my greetings on behalf of the day uh, of local uh, governance and I'd like to extend my um, best wishes and to say that local uh, lo local territorial uh, communities have to ha have a person who is uh, responsible for special planning you, you can call this person whatever you want a special of a uh, special plan or whatever but there there should be such a person who can help the community and executive bodies and uh, local uh, local elected um, uh, officials in, in order to better know the available resources natural resources the lands and how to use and manage them better in order to uh, to inform the investors how uh, local infrastructure can be used or where to set a park these all are very important things because they enable us uh, to uh, to take real care of our territory, of our lands, and we understand that this is a key issue of the 21st century, and we have to uh, continue with sustainable development in a broad sense of ecological behavior and uh, qualitative uh, special uh, planning and good uh, city planning will increase our ecological responsibility of our territorial communities. Thank you very much, and have a good and fruitful conference. Uh, Thank you, Mr. Alexandre, for paying your time to us, and because here we are working on mutual cooperation basis, and Ukraine is learning, and Ukraine teaches other countries. And now we pass the floor to the Minister of Agrarian Policy and uh, Food Industry, Mr. Roman Leshenko. You're right. Good day, dear colleagues. Uh, greetings to all participants of the conference. And I want to mention that for us, communities are the initial basis of state building. They should be uh, economically stable, socially developed, and they are the basis of uh, our Ukrainian state. I believe that we, step by step, do everything to develop and uh, our communities. And in the last two and a half years, we fa uh, in, uh, um, <clears throat> in all particular steps, we show these changes and transformation of our approaches. Now the real instrument of uh, economical development for territorial communities is land. Our land reform provided possibility for every home own, uh, homeowner to develop in very difficult economical and political conditions. Minister of Agrarian Policy, together with the team, uh, conducted uh, a significant reform of uh, land uh, uh, of land and we achieved more, uh, the more uh, that was achieved in the last 30 years. We implemented more than uh, 30 legislation acts in uh, the area of land owners. We uh, transferred millions of hectares to the municipal and territorial ownership, and we did it even before this uh, law had been adopted in the parliament uh, for the even in last to eight years, uh, there was a struggle to adopt this law, and we, but we were able to push it through recently. Now we are at the final stage of decentralization and land reform, and uh, this new legislation gave to the communities more capabilities to bring in investments by stimulating economical development in, uh, in uh, rational use of their land resources. And two months ago, we launched uh, Prozoro auctions, land auctions, uh, average uh, cost of the land lot is growing more than 200%. We simplify the process of, uh, um, of documentation, preparing of documentations for development of land. We regulated the issue of the land tax uh, rates. We regulated the issues of taxation uh, of the land lots that were able to bring more money to local budgets. And in this area, special planning is very important uh, topic now. For the next year, we will we will be improving the legislation and bringing best practices on uh, land management. And uh, our first pilots in special planning, it means that we are moving on the right direction jointly with joint efforts to make communities uh, uh, not vulnerable to corruption, to such things as raiding. 
and to uh, for the and to make it possible for economical growth not only for the community but every landowner and at this stage we have to conduct educational efforts uh, to bring more awareness and to improve special planning of the territories and uh, giving sorting out the issues with uh, land planning special planning this is the uh, paramount task for each community, uh, proper communication with all stakeholders in the communities and proper use of lands and proper the inventorizations will increase uh, incomes of local budgets. And here we uh, appreciate the all projects uh, that we conduct together with USAT. We have a lot of them and we are now actively uh, react to the request from our communities. We are open to the dialogue, to the constant improvement of the policies, of the legislation, and in order to make stronger our local communities for us. We are now focusing on uh, 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 pay issues of pay-free transfer of lands from the Ministry of Agriculture, and we uh, think that uh, certain things should be stopped because we're facing unjust uh, uh, dis distribution of land resources. We are uh, relying on uh, our uh, industrial asso uh, associations and by, tr and by transforming into uh, proper uh, legal directions and I want to thank all participants and for their strengthening the work of the territorial communities and our joint work on uh, land reform. My in Land reform is an uh, essential part of my life. For the last two and a half years I'm every day working on those issues. Uh, greetings to our teams. Uh, thanks to USAID, to the projects Agro and TCA for the support of these reforms. Jointly we uh, make we implement those reforms and I every day I feel your support we're not now talking about land reform we are talking about the irrigation reform and we are moving in that area and those efforts and the values uh, of transformation that we are now making are unique and they're giving historical unique historical chance to our state uh, special planning of territories is the future of Ukrainian state. They are the basis of uh, our stability of our development. And because it's coming from the communities and com from the effective, transparent and responsible communities, they work uh, for the best of each citizen, each uh, member of the community. And this is how we uh, build up the most effective system of state management, and we all we have all prerequisites to uh, regain the potential that we were losing for last 30 years. Thank you for invitation. Thank you to all colleagues for joint efforts, and uh, we we will fight through this uh, way. Thank you, Miss Your Excellency, and because Mr. Leshenko twice mentioned the team of the ministry. We want to introduce another part of the team, Deputy, first Deputy Minister, Ms. Natalia De Dear colleagues, uh, good day. First, I'd like to greet every member of this conference. This mm -hmm. conference is uh, really topical, taking into consideration the issues which we discuss, special planning of territorial communities on, on the day of International Day of Combating Corruption, because uh, combining uh, city planning documentation uh, into, into, into one electro electronic uh, document is nothing but uh, direct, uh, direct thing for combating corruption. And uh, the, several years uh, we have this uh, reform going, and uh, last year we finished the process of uh, forming territorial development and of the, of the lowest level. So this will facilitate the optimization of territorial structure of state power and, and uh, saving uh, money for uh, managing it. And also it shows the general idea of uh, local governments when the power is delegated from the high authority to the low authority to the territorial community and territorial communities can, uh, can uh, make uh, their own decisions on uh, the further development of planning 
And the next step is the uh, is the special planning of territorial uh, communities on local level with the legislation which uh, based on law adopted last year, which uh, refers to the planning documentation, which uh, came into force in the middle of this uh, summer. So I'm, I'm very happy that uh, the ministry of the, uh, the the ministry which I represent today actually engaged in this reform. And on our part, we actively worked on the implementation of this legislation. And uh, in according, according to the uh, according to the terms uh, described by by the law, uh, we have prepared all the all the bases which enable territorial communities in a transparent way to start forming their complex planning of spatial development of territories of territorial communities. This is a new way of documentation for uh, city planning. These are innovations which will help the communities to plan their their future understand in what way their ter 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 territories will develop and to com combining a city and a land uh, planning will 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 be done in electronic way in, in in a very transparent and clear way so digitalization of these processes will enable not only communities to develop as the local self governing authorities but also to engage business and uh, to have very clear business processes for their own development. So it's not just uh, uh, it's not just put, putting it right, but it's uh, it's the issue of economic development of territorial communities. That's why I really thank you. Uh, and especially to those uh, Pisochin and Rohan territorial communities who were the pilot projects and who did all, all that way. And you will be definitely an example, you will set an example for uh, more than a thousand and a half territorial communities which will learn your experience in, in, order, in, in order to be as progressive as you are. So uh, I wish you a great discussion and I hope that all these issues which are going to raise today will enable everyone to understand better the legislation innovations, uh, also le legal processes in what way you can do that and how can we as representatives of uh, authorities can help you. Wish you a great discussion. Uh, th thank you very much. This is a team of uh, uh, Ministry of uh, Territor Territories and uh, Communities also take part in our competition. It's not just a competition. This is a striving. This is achieving. And one more team uh, also, uh, also, uh, also played a significant role here. According to Leshenko, is a, pr is a program uh, USAID. Uh, Ksenia Sedorkina is uh, head of it, and she is about to address you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, colleagues. Uh, so I'm really happy to start this event, which I hope will will give a lot of answers to practical, concrete questions. How to uh, work in this new legislation? How to use these opportunities? Uh, opening this event, I'd like to single out is uh, the importance of cooperation between the parliament, uh, territorial communities, and we can see that we have two ministries which work together as a team. We can see that. Uh, pioneers of the first two communities which were not afraid of that and they were the first champions and they will use those opportunities and tools and uh, last summer we talked about the opening of the land uh, market and we said that this is just the beginning uh, the whole work is in the future and I, I hope that this work has already started and we will uh, gain the momentum and I'd like to give uh, some other words so what did we do and USAID on this way for, for developing of this reform and several words it's how what so what in within our framework we can have for communities so dear colleagues so what you can account for uh, while working with us so starting back in 2017 our team was very active in working uh, with uh, territorial communities we had several pilot projects so we started a uh, systematic approach and what we saw in that process the territorial communities are ready they are well motivated to work on their development so they need some leverage uh, to manage their resources well. As a result of such uh, pro pilot programs, we uh, found out the biggest problems which they face, and the biggest of them is the discrepancy between uh, the data on uh, land resources and the real one, and sometimes it was like 30%, and you can only imagine uh, it's just colossal loss to the budget and how can we talk about the complex uh, development of the territory if the territory doesn't have any uh, idea of the resources which they have in its disposal
proposal. So as a result, we obtained 10 complex pilot projects of modeling the territories and more than 80 territories uh, received uh, plans uh, for the spatial uh, development and they became the first uh, in the geoportal. Uh, they opened their, their, their data for public use uh, and, and they set an example for other communities how we can uh, promulgate this data uh, on the resources and they created all the necessary groundwork for uh, fighting corruption uh, through uh, transfer, uh, transparent data. We cannot uh, have any changes without regulations, without legislation, so the main laws on these uh, several years, it will be uh, a law on complex uh, spatial planning and uh, and law on spatial um, data. So we have we have to work on that and communities will have a chance to learn how to implement these no novelties in their life and our modest role with uh, experts is to help them as much as we can so that's what i'd like to say and uh, also uh, the program agro what is about so we planned for several years together with our partners with associations with uh, with expert communities so first maybe the, the most important which uh, we deal with is to share the achievements from two pilots from Kharkiv Oblast, Pistochinska and Rohan uh, communities. Thank you very much, dear colleagues, for being brave and uh, embarking on that uh, on their boat and and, uh, and and we reach that triumph and they are ready to share their achievement and they are, sh they are ready to share with, uh, with the problems which they faced on the way because it's impossible to do anything new, if uh, especially if everything goes smooth without any problems. And uh, these uh, problems we would we would like to work through together and uh, for the last several months uh, months in uh, October and September we had uh, eight uh, roundtable discussions together with uh, communities where we discussed different issues uh, problems uh, of uh, implementing these laws within the framework of um, law legislation also we have a constant dialogue with uh, representatives of ministry and I'd like to extend my greetings to uh, Mr. Leshenko and, and Natalia for their quick response they answer their questions we have this dialogue with uh, with uh, communities and the problems which arise uh, like uh, and all these all, all these uh, all these uh, problems will be our will, will be overcome and the, and we will work in constructive way in, in order to have that reform implemented and all and all communities of Ukraine can use this tool and uh, definitely it's impossible without partnership and I hope that partnership will continue on the level of uh, on, on, on the level of the local authorities and uh, high authorities uh, also uh, business and authorities uh, and other partners partner or and donor organizations our program and the range of our colleagues will can will uh, keep up with uh, engaging into this work as for our initiatives i'd like to say that we have three main programs it's a, uh, it's educational program uh, with Ukergeo and next uh, next year we will have several co consultation and master classes for communities on developing the complex uh, planning for spatial uh, development and and also we plan uh, one uh, studying process for organizations which will develop such plans and I'd like to extend my thanks to everyone who engaged in this work in associations and, and with the technical assistance and to World Bank. And also I'd like to share the news and the, the news is, which is good for both for me and for communities. Uh, we also uh, added new project USAID Hoverla, which is really good and uh, especially uh, works with communities that it will support special uh, planning development and they will also use the methodology which we have developed together with the program agro together with our partners and it will be one more window of opportunity for uh, different communities to engage in this process so uh, thank you very much and i wish you a fruitful work and i wish you our territory communities be brave be active you don't have to be the first but 
but don't put it, don't postpone it, don't put it aside. So use this opportunity because this opportunity can give uh, additional investments and it will help to develop your territory to, uh, to uh, improve the level of life, standards of living on social behalf. It, will, it can help uh, with, with saving uh, historic heritage, climate and others. So this is a window of opportunity and this is open for you and we will support you as as uh, at our best thank you very much thank you dear colleagues uh, th thank you xenia thank you everyone for your greeting words which definitely will uh, echo in uh, in the process in discussion today and jim hope at the very beginning uh, of our meeting mentioned that today what we what what we saw in ukraine is really important is a milestone so we we uh, we usually say that it's a really long way really long road which leads to such milestones but some people say that there are seven uh, simple steps so where are they taking those seven simple steps so they happen in a way of achieving uh, efficient uh, management of territories especially when land market is open and uh, what we suggest to your attention is a, a video where uh, heads of territorial communities are talking about these sim uh, simple uh, steps so transfer of uh, the main lands uh, to territorial communities is the main uh, main event but okay відповідь у семи простих кроках для громад перший крок зібрати та оприлюднити всі дані про землі громади we have to our first task is to collect the data to present them in the form of electronic uh, map and to public them openly so so what can help you is a, is a land manager manager of of, uh, of of the territorial community and make make sure that that person have all the necessary things to do his job uh, next step is uh, to uh, have an ownership rights so approximately four million of hectares are now in communal ownership but not all of them are registered in the registry of rights so communities need to registry their rights for the land plots which according to the law are now given to uh, the communities the third one is to take care of the environment and uh, cultural heritage facilities communities as uh, members of uh, uh, land relations they have to take consideration uh, environmental issues they have to put on their maps the lands which uh, are planned for recreational objects uh, parks and uh, for renewing uh, and recovering of uh, uh, forests woods recreational areas reserves and objects of historic significance and and their zones the fourth step is to designate why uh, why local communities need those lands when uh, when uh, local community has uh, everything like that they have to understand how can they use those land resources according to the law of ukraine as for the planning and use of lands territorial communities have to develop the complex uh, spatial uh, plan for territorial development and the first step is to set uh, goals for usage of those lands in future so how can we attract investors how can we do that with available potential and capacity where can we put some sun uh, plants uh, and where can we have uh, 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 water resources and the sixth uh, step is uh, to develop the maps for local communities when we use this we have to take into consideration the local interest the interest of all the stakeholders so uh, the territorial community has to develop a working group and together with the whole community develop the scheme map of how to use these lands uh, responsibly and the seventh step is to support the land reform and efficiently use its uh, advantages so land reform is being implemented successfully and it's support by communities and uh, using them efficiently especially advantages it's really important because this reform is implemented within the interests of the territorial community and provides uh, opportunities for increasing 
and uh, uh, perfecting the standard of Lean. So uh, everything about uh, that you can find in the manual, how communities can manage their territories uh, when uh, land, uh, uh, land market is open. You can download it from the Association of Territorial Communities. Okay. While we were watching the video, I was uh, noting from which oblast uh, we had requests of the territorial community heads, and uh, we've had people from Dnipropetrovsk, Zaporizhzhia, Zhetomir, Chernihiv oblasts, and two people from Kharkiv oblast. So uh, our stu second studio is working from Kharkiv, and uh, we will uh, bring them in for our discussions. And now in Kyiv, we start a panel discussion on uh, the conditions of the legislation on planning needs and of territorial communities. And this event is uh, meant to, con to have a discussion in this area. And uh, during this discussion, we will touch the issues that are most persistent for the communities uh, with regards to special planning and changes to the land reform. I will introduce our participants, uh, whom we already know from Ms. Natalia Kozlovska, uh, Deputy Minister of uh, Territorial Development of Ukraine. And we have uh, Mr. Kubach, Sergei Kubach, uh, he's uh, head of the land reform program USAID Agro. Ivan Slobodyanik, executive director of the All Ukrainian Association of the Territorial Communities. Medveska Tetyana, deputy executive director of the Association of Ukrainian Citizens. And Sergei Zavatsky. Uh, and Anatoly and Mr. Anatoly Mirsnachenko. First deputy of state uh, geocadaster. Thank you, Mr. Anatoly. Sorry for not recognizing recognizing you, because uh, uh, when a, a non-professional comes to the professionals uh, around go, comes around professionals, you are sometimes uh, getting too nervous. We have our uh, our event is broadcasted to Facebook, and all participants can ask their questions. And we have moderators who will attend to your questions uh, uh, about f from USAID Agro program. We have one hour for our panel. We have uh, five participants, and for them to give their presentations or short speeches, we allocate seven minutes. And then we will have a Q&A session. Uh, we have our Kharkiv studio. And we start from a presentation of Sergei Kubach. And he will speak about legislation. Thank you. I ask to launch presentation. Six months ago, we were discussing how should look like special planning of territorial communities development will look like how they should manage their resources and now we have a number of uh, already adopted legislation and i will briefly talk about them let's recollect the goals that we put to in front of us and we can check if they had been achieved first of all we adopted a uh, decision that uh, important decision that we need to have uh, land management decentralized and we have to transfer land to the ownership of territorial communities and this had goal had been achieved and I will show at which stage we our legislation is about these issues and we deregulated the management land management and for many years we had a certain ver man managerial vertical on management by state organs. And now we decentralized this process and uh, state authorities have certain authorities, but majority of land is uh, managed by newly established territorial communities. We 
adopted the decision that all special planning plans, all geodata about the resources, about the limitations of the use of uh, lands will be uh, publicly accessible. This is a strategy for the development. It's not, it's not only about land reform, it's about economical development of the country. We adopted three main uh, laws that created that uh, uh, judicial basis on land resources management. And first of all, it's a law on deregulations on, of land management. And it established three major points. It ex uh, acknowledged that lands outside the uh, urban areas uh, except those that are in state property, they are uh, considered as the territorial community ownership. Uh, and I this law authorized territorial communities to manage this land. And it also described how state uh, provides control. And it, uh, pa it passed uh, to the territorial communities the uh, authority to control how this land will be used and all territorial communities uh, have uh, have to follow the procedure on establishing their uh, uh, borders and another law about the geodata this law states that all geodata uh, owned by state or uh, municipal organs should be public and publicly accessible. And this law acknowledged the data that are open for public. They should be public as most recent. And this provides capability to state authorities and to the territorial uh, communities to adopt political decisions. It's This law is uh, very difficult for implementation. It's only first stages uh, had been started, but this is the way the, uh, the modern world is moving, and this law is in line with the best practices uh, in this sphere. And the third law, as uh, as uh, that had been already tested, uh, based on the pilot projects is the law on the uh, land management. It's basically the law on special planning of territorial communities. And it acknowledges that local documentations is uh, documentations for uh, city development and special planning development. And this is unified territorial document that is planning uh, uh, of the whole all territory of the community and data that uh, restrict uh, certain uh, uh, ways of using land, they should be inputted to the state cadaster. We, we have not different functional zonings of the territories. We have unified space that should be in line with the functional uh, use and this complex uh, special plan uh, has four kinds of uh, uh, special man uh, land management for historical heritage, historical restrictions, uh, urban planning, and uh, uh, agriculture planning. And most important, we have to mention that uh, decisions on special planning should uh, undergo public uh, 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 discussions, uh, sh information should be pu public at geo portals, and each community member should uh, have access to this information and this democratic principle, uh, where even any suggestions of uh, community members should be taken into account when we are preparing this special planning plan. And all these laws are interconnected and they work for the land reform or in Ukraine. I want to mention that this is, these are the largest changes to the legislation in uh, land, uh, uh, um, uh, in land 
in land for the last 30 years after Ukraine announced its independence because it moves us from the post-Soviet uh, era of uh, land management to the modern uh, public land management method uh, based on the open dialect of within the communities. According to the law of on special planning, uh, we conducted a lot of uh, preliminary works. We will uh, our uh, uh, regulations are not ideal, but that we already adopted certain regulations that uh, tell us about the procedures of uh, preparing those uh, data. We have a, a, a resolution that will classify uh, the land use restrictions, and it, uh, and we they are equal both for uh, land land use decisions and we already uh, uh, harmonized the functional zoning of uh, uh, territorial communities land and we regulated how these data are inputted into electronic cadaster and uh, the procedures on how to uh, pro, uh, conduct uh, special planning expertise and about subventions to the territorial communities to develop such special planning uh, zoning plans. And it's the first time when uh, approach to the special planning and land planning are now unified for every community and every community has a possibility to create this special planning plan to create safe uh, 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 land planning how to develop and states allocates certain number of funds to uh, imp imp uh, to implement this uh, special planning we have of course we have certain issues and challenges uh, and we will talk about them today and with this, I want to pass the floor to our next speaker. Uh, thank you very much indeed. When you start listening to Serhii Kuba, it seems that special planning is uh, it, it stems from the word simple, but actually there are some problems, some complexities, and the main uh, problems uh, will be uh, will be represented by a representative of association. And the first whom I'd like to take the floor is Ivan Slobodyanek, his executive. Uh, e executive uh, chair chairman of uh, communities. Uh, thank, uh, uh, good afternoon, everyone, uh, dear colleagues. And in in the video which you, you saw, and uh, all the association of Ukrainian territorial communities members also watched that video. So this will be the best and the most successful examples which are, which Pisoch and Hromada are going to talk about. But our task is to talk about problems because every problem cannot go without a feedback. Uh, it's not it's not like critical stance this is something which uh, territorial communities pay attention to so mainly uh, start with, let's start with positive things what is positive that for the subvention as uh, for for the special planning will it will be quite big it, it is really increased the amount of money allocated for this maybe three times as big and uh, the question remains quite problematic as for the indexes of uh, counting that subvention because today it consists this index is a 3.19 as uh, for the area of the territory and uh, when, when you talk about Barani uh, Hromada of Zhitomer Oblast, which is 603 uh, square kilometers, it's a million, uh, more, a little bit mi million uh, hryvnias. It's, it covers only a little bit more than 30 percent of the territory. So we need some uh, additional uh, assistance, uh, especially with um, with the members who don't, who are not financially capable. And for the next year. And uh, there is a quite re big request to reconsider this uh, this index, index uh, especially for uh, not very capable uh, communities. It should be different. As for the topographic, uh, for, for the survey, it's uh, one of the main preconditions for the plans uh, of uh, uh, real settlements. So these settlements do not have uh, have it. It's one to the ratio one to one thousand ten thousand. So this uh, survey, this photo survey 
is, is, is also should be done systematically according uh, and uh, using the state funds, it would definitely alleviate and relieve us of the effort. And uh, as for the cooperation with GeoCadas, yes, the process uh, has started. And there are some uh, some things which we, 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 we which can re receive data and the coordinates data in the format of JSU and and I would like to have it in XML uh, format. It would be much easier for us. And uh, by, by passing and in, in in passing, it's not it, it doesn't it doesn't take on, on on this issue. But it actually, it refers to spatial plan because here at the very beginning he mentioned uh, about uh, transfer of lands to communal property and. Uh, we, we have a problem of of, uh, of the land plots which are bought by uh, farmers, the, the the lands which were, were supposed to be by uh, using loans, and unfortunately we have a collision which we cannot solve. So we have territorial communities which, according to their uh, local authority sessions, uh, they, uh, they 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 have already uh, agreed on that, but they cannot buy it in in reality because there is some deca which which um, the territorial, the territorial uh, communities would like to know. And uh, with USAID partners and with the Ministry of Agrarian Policy and the State Geocadaster, we tried uh, to work on this problem and achieved quite a big, uh, quite a good understanding from mean agro policy and food. So these uh, funds uh, were supposed to be uh, allocated, uh, but well, it's not enough. So I'd like to uh, to, to to ask uh, many representatives of ministries to give uh, comments, because otherwise it will come back to the Ministry of Finances, and uh, maybe it can it, 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 they can explain. So what? code DECA, they can have these uh, funds because it discriminates the reform itself. Uh, lo lo looks like it's a carrot in, in front of a donkey, excuse me, but but, but, but no one can can, can grasp, uh, get it, you know. It's impossible. So this problem is, is uh, should be solved as soon as possible. And I'd like to to hear to the results uh, on behalf of Pesochin and other uh, territorial communities which will uh, uh, present their achievements because it's one of the key problems which we have to deal with and we will definitely look into it and Senya Sidorkin now mentioned that there is methodological recommendations in what way it, how, in what consistency we have to do that some some some, some communities have experts who can make these steps as for the spatial complex planning and some communities uh, just like behind, so methodological help also will play a key role in the next year for for the planning of territories. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, uh, Ivana. So uh, we 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 haven't used all the time frame, and now I believe that we can have more time for others. And I also ask you to do the same for for the sake of our Kharkiv colleagues and Tatiana Medvedska. Um, uh, Tatiana, the Deputy Executive Director of Association of Ukrainian Cities, thank you very much for the invitation. Uh, so I present Association of the Cities today, and it's one of the biggest associations. So we deal with the interests uh, of, uh, like Ivan, with the interests of uh, communities. And let me con continue with the prob problems and save some time for my colleagues. So. It's very good that uh, we, have, we have subventions from the state budget for the next uh, year. Uh, but the only problem here is that uh, communities uh, have very little knowledge of it. So maybe uh, we should conduct some awareness campaign uh, to, to explain how these funds can be used efficiently. Also, a really important topic is spatial planning and association of cities. The last three months has uh, has been doing such such trainings, such methodological assistance, engaging representatives of different uh, organizations. Uh, we conducted educational training sessions and. Uh, and uh, taking into consideration the results of those uh, the seminars, uh, we have a range of uh, questions. Well, I did it myself. I took part in such uh, campaigns and like to voice them to uh, to the representatives of Min region and the state cadaster. So one one question to the Ministry of Regions uh, of Territorial. So according to the law of Ukraine on on state cadaster, uh, the, the, the 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 data is input. 
is the, the input of data is based on on the plan of settlements on the 28th of July we have a, a regulation adopted which means that uh, some amendments should be made to the state cadastre and putting it my words so our, our architectures use DBN and uh, land uh, experts they use different uh, different documents so here we have a, a legal collision so for example so one uh, one regulation contradicts classification so i would like you to ask you to prepare some demands and requirements on for the documentation for city planning according to the state uh, state uh, regulations as for the state uh, land cadastre, this is my request to you. And if possible, so maybe a, maybe an ordinance or maybe approve a table with codes of, uh, of 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 numbers of zones of territories which were assigned according to the previously issued regulations. So I'd like to have some harmonization in this aspect. Also, one more important issue, which is raised by communities in different oblasts, according to these new acts, which have been adopted and Sergei has already announced. So communities uh, have to uh, to take just 10 uh, days a period to develop documentation and uh, promulgate on their cartographic uh, cadastre uh, provisional place of land as uh, As for today, they don't have such technical possibility. So I'd like you to explain uh, on behalf of their of state uh, geocadaster. So how can they do in this situation? How they can act? So also association of cities. I also having a tour around Ukraine raised the problem and collected such poor hot points for the complex plans. What should we start with? So subventions were given to those who have some foundation, and the foundation is cartographic materials of one to ten thousand ratio. And today. Uh, topographic maps uh, are dealt with uh, the state, uh, um, state enterprise, and we addressed with the letter to state uh, cadaster to enable uh, local communities to use uh, free of charge uh, their cartographic material so they don't have to use their local funds for the development of these really expensive works. And moreover, for the next year, as far as I know, they, uh, they, they, they have uh, put in plans the development and renewal of cartographic funds. So maybe a coordinated, with coordinated efforts, we can help with that uh, open data, which can uh, benefit all uh, communities. This is uh, my recommendation. Mm. So we addressed with a letter, but we haven't received uh, an answer yet. Well, uh, am I still in my time limit? Okay. And one more problem, uh, so fun, fun, functional of inputting zones doesn't work properly. So functional of the state geocadaster, which enables to input amendments as for the boundaries of the cities. And if a uh, community input the boundaries and now they want to expand them, so this functional functionality doesn't work. So please make sure that it it, 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 it works, so because it impedes the work in renewed, uh, so it, it, it impedes the work in uh, renewal of uh, uh, fun financial assessment and everything which strategically plan communities themselves. So also yesterday we have been addressed uh, from a Poltava region by, so sir, he actually mentioned some really important laws uh, adopted, but I'd like to complement with one more uh, law. This is a law on, on, uh, on digital auctions, which also open data uh, and uh, encourages investor investors to engage in local communities this is really important so we encountered one issue uh, when uh, local communities uh, uh, in, the, in December uploaded their announcements uh, there was a problem that those auctions will take place at the beginning of January and we all know that in January uh, we have uh, indexing of normative assessment normal financial assessment and these communities will have to cancel such auctions or 
or maybe to input some uh, amendments and quite difficult procedure. So it will imp definitely impede the work of auctions themselves. So my request, uh, dear authorities of executive powers, uh, please take into consideration in order to renew this module. So this indexation goes automatically and uh, and uh, cooperate with the administ uh, system administrator who can foresee that uh, indexation without uh, changes for local communities before they make assessments so they stay within uh, the law uh, requirements because it also means uh, additional funds and avenues to the local budget and i think that i talk too much and I can continue, but uh, for the last uh, three uh, months, I, I have visited more than 10 oblasts. Mo mostly in they encounter technical issues, but most of them, they require uh, some small corrections uh, within the normative acts. And uh, also one more issue is uh, normative and financial assessment. This is also important. And uh, some communities say that it's impossible, that it's impossible to input data into cadaster uh, those norms, that uh, technical specification, which which was adopted after uh, the 9th of November, that's that's my big request to you. Please correct that, and if it's possible to make amendments and complement uh, that ordinance, so uh, to in, in order to enable local communities which have uh, conducted tenders, and uh, they paid advance money, and uh, also they uh, put it up on their session of. Uh, uh, adopting the new assessment, financial assessment, so they can, uh, yeah, because, because otherwise it's a big loss to the local uh, budgets. They planned it in advance, and these are really huge losses. Thank you, thank you very much, Tetyana, and uh, and Ivan Slobodyanek and Tetyana Medvedska can be uh, joined with a word. It's a huge request, but also is understanding of the situation. So the information was collected in many cities and communities and uh, there is no doubt that the work which which can be conducted which was conducted in the ministry of regions can be can be really helpful in this regard and i give a floor to natalia kozlovska thank you dear colleagues uh, just to continue the information the list of information about uh, um, uh, legislation uh, on the level of the ministry uh, for the implementation of the law because that list is not extensive uh, we will need another resolution of cabinet of minister on public hearings for um, city and land development uh, plans and this issue will be closed this year and there are two another processes that uh, influence influence the implementation of this process is the database on geo, um, geospatial data. This uh, order will be registered Ministry of Justice and it will be compulsory and uh, another uh, registration on the city monitoring, city development monitoring and that will mark the end of the reform. I have very important information for all uh, communities. Subvention that was allocated this year, we asked uh, we had request uh, from 10 oblasts uh, to make it uh, uh, timeless and I'm um, thanks to the Ministry of Finance the subvention uh, that was not used this year will stay at the accounts of territorial communities and you will be capable to use it next year please uh, talk to your oblast administrations they already they uh, as soon as this law will be uh, signed by the president, they will understand what extent of uh, sum will be allocated for the next year. And you will have understand that uh, allocation that was uh, done this year, it was it will remain in your budget for the next uh, years. We will uh, mention in which way we uh, conduct these calculations. This project is financed within the scope of the agreement between Ukraine and IMF. And we have uh, very particular calculations how the financing of this project will be done. Uh, for this year, there were allocated fundings for 50 projects. And these uh, resources were uh, split between uh, the projects by uh, oblasts. Next year, the principle remains the same. We understand that uh, this is this funding is not enough to cover all expenses for conducting special planning plans, and we need co-financing. But uh, 
this development of special planning is uh, uh, expensive, and we understand that. And in order to decrease the appetites of the planners, land planners, we know that those architects that are involved in development, they think this is uh, uh, high, it's uh, very, very expensive. And we, as as authority that regulates that uh, pricing in this sphere, we regulated uh, the issues on the cost of such works in order for the contractors who will conduct these works for territorial communities, well, kind of restricted in their expectations and understood the, uh, the uh, balance for of reasonable pricing. Uh, we tried to regulate this in order for communities to understand what financing they should expect. With regards to regulating the structure and uh, um, content of the city development planning, uh, by end of this year we will make relevant changes to the state building codes, and we this uh, process is on the final stage, and we will finalize it by end of the year, and we should understand that we will be able to finish our task by this year. From the, uh, I will not uh, pay, uh, spend my time on other questions that were raised because we still have a lot of questions from our territorial communities, uh, and we will wait. Uh, we will allocate more time for that. Uh, thank you. another speaker, uh, Mr. Anatoly Miroshnichenko, first deputy of uh, State Geocadaster. With regards to the role of the state uh, geocadaster in this very important process of uh, reforms and uh, special planning of territorial development, I want to raise three issues. First is uh, participation in development of legislation. As Sergei already mentioned, in, I will agree that in through the all years of independence. This is unprecedented, and I would say uh, uh, a single uh, example of changes of uh, in reform in this area. Uh, the, the amount of changes that happened in last year is unprecedented. That's definitely the fact. And the scope of works that are supposed are uh, planned for implementation is uh, very uh, large, because reform doesn't stop at uh, uh, implement at just at adopting the law, and we need to adopt a lot of uh, regulatory acts uh, to make this law work, and uh, this as. For beginning of September, we finished the big chunk of the works. A lot of uh, uh, effort was uh, made by Ministry of Regional Development, and also State Geocadaster developed uh, uh, Regulation 181 on uh, how we classify the types of landlords and uh, the classifier of functional. Uh, um, use of the land and also we worked on number of procedural uh, manuals and we've conducted a large amount of work another issue is how we uh, uh, clarify our legislation we have a lot of problems S some of them were mentioned in Mr. Tiana's uh, uh, presentation uh, these issues all often raised by my colleagues, and we will hear about them, uh, about such problems. But we have a lot of issues can be solved by uh, just clever uh, explaining the law, and in order for it to be uh, rational, just, and. Uh, apply uh, fitted the common sense and with regards to the issues that were raised we prepared a letter with clarifications on the possibility of uh, approving documents about the uh, norms for uh, of compensation for development of the city development documents that if 
as per the date of conducting uh, this special planning work, uh, company complied with the uh, all uh, current legislation, we will not object to uh, approve these uh, documentations. And uh, according to the new procedure of the uh, uh, land landlord uh, estimate, estim pricing estimation, and now we have a new procedure for uh, evaluation of landlords' uh, price for far uh, for agriculture activities. Together with the USAID Agra, we are working on clarification on how on the uh, sequence of actions for the territorial uh, communities on how to develop their special planning uh, works. I am very. Uh, I th I th thanks to the territorial communities for the feedbacks, and because a lot of things uh, we can uh, we can uh, solve by uh, just clarification. And another area of activities is uh, uh, how how we develop our, our software because we need our software updated uh, in order to. Uh, s maintain our state geo cadastre because and we prepared a rough plan of what action should be taken. It started from 71 steps, now it extended to almost 76. We do certain steps are being implemented, but we continue updating this list, and that's why the load on the administrator of state geo cadastre. The state company that is directly implementing those changing is quite high. We're working on a number of uh, solutions. We hope to outsource number of uh, necessary steps, but uh, believe me, the scope of works is uh, quite extensive, and we require a lot of resources, both uh, like labor and uh, time, res uh, both in terms of time. And the issues that we that were raised about the uh, uh, showing the data on uh, proposed uh, location of the land lot that will be uh, allocated for uh, for the change of their uh, uh, allowed use. It's a matter of next weeks. If we talk about the functionality that is related to about. Uh, depicting functional zones. These uh, capabilities are in the field of our uh, a matter of our priority, and we will be able to implement these uh, functions at the beginning of the next year. We understand uh, uh, the need of those changes. We are trying to allocate uh, budgets for that. and. Well, before the next year, it's really a short time to wait. So we will check soon. And Anatoly said if uh, they have questions, they can be solved by ex explaining the legislation. We will hear now the questions, uh, which questions uh, the heads of the plans, uh, plan developers uh, have in the Kharkiv studio. So we have 15 plus minutes to, to ask those questions and to hear the answers. So the, 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 first, uh, the first thing is please introduce you because we don't see your name tags. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, the decision which participants of uh, uh, my name is uh, Chernobyl Oleg. I have a question uh, which uh, refers to the problems arise during the development of uh, plans for special planning. And this is uh, one of the pl uh, problems which arose. Uh, so getting all uh, the data in order to develop uh, a co 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 complex uh, program of uh, planning, uh, and we address uh, approximately 100 enterprises and public enterprises in order to get the data uh, so architects can make uh, good project decisions. But 
we but unfortunately we haven't received all the information there were different different refusals some some questions were answered partially so we received only part of it and uh, uh, the previous panelist mentioned that we will provide all the necessary information but please pay for that so uh so my question is to uh, natalia uh do you, do you plan any amendments to the legislation, to the bylaws, to regulations in order to regulate the relations between uh, between uh, the clients of the complex plan and those who do that, and organizations and uh, government agencies which provide that information? Thank you very much. Uh, thanks for your question. Let me answer that in order not to accumulate them. So we, uh, the best of our understanding, the source of this data should be a well-provided NGD, and uh, it should be the only source which can provide you with detailed information. And what is the most important that those bodies, uh, including executive bodies, because we have a good cooperation with Ministry of uh, Culture, and we try to explain them that without their zone in their territories, qualitative uh, complex plan won't uh, come in force. And they, it's impossible. So the first question, where can we get that? And how to fill that with information? So I believe that Nigade is uh, the source for that. And we, we work uh, with all the organizations which are supposed to do that in order to accumulate that information in one source. And all territorial communities can take that information and access it. Thank you, Natalia. And we have one more question from uh, Kharkiv. Uh, good afternoon, uh, dear colleagues, uh, the deputy of uh, of, uh, of a village council. I have a question. If we approve the plan of spatial, uh, the plan of special planning of ter territories, and we need a qualified uh, architect who, who who will work with that, because that plan, uh, you know, undergoes changes, and. Uh, so here, here the question is not where to find this architect. The, the, the issue is, uh, so in, with what resources he's supposed to work, how can he get access to the uh, database, uh, Dabi and others, please? Well, I think this is the question to me. Thank you for your question. First, uh, right now, you know that we, we have one electronic uh, database in the sphere of civil construction where every, uh, every uh, body of uh, public administration uh, and also by uh, you, you are vested with some powers starting with uh, uh, addresses and also with uh, kind of performing control of uh, civil construction, the same with architect. So we believe that architect in every community, it's supposed to be, because it's not just a person who eats uh, his bread, uh, excuse me, but, but this is a person who influences development of a city or a town. So if you have an architect on, in your territorial community, this is qualitative development. This is capability of community for the further uh, economic development. So architect should be within the community. The complex plan is not just the document which was made today, adopted, and forgot about it. So this is the document which you will use every day. Uh, uh, and laws and bylaws, they envisage that you, you can renew them, make amendments. So this is like a living product, dynamic one, which needs to be uh, updated constantly for qualitative development and reflective uh, reflection of the real situation. As for uh, uh, as for the material he's supposed to work with. So after the, after implementation of this system, every architect will have in a format of a city monitoring to the to, to the unified uh, database of city uh, planning, and not he, he he will be capable of entering this database. He will be obliged to do that and to, and to daily to monitor that. So and we believe that it won't be only an architect, but the whole unit should take this job in order to control the situation, in order to avoid illegal civil construction. So that's why we developed this uh, program actively. And this is the parallel uh, Bill uh, 5655, which uh, 
entirely transfers everything in digital form, I mean document permits for building and provides local self-governing authorities with big authority, especially in control of the city planning. And also it expands their authority of local governing authority uh, together and uh, also arises their responsibility and you should be ready for that. So N Natalia also uh, just grabbed the mic as Mikhail Kotlevich started to talk. So I, I believe that uh, these uh, problems are familiar to you and you're ready to solve them and it increases the possibility that these problems will be solved. So we will give the floor to Kharkiv again. Uh, good good afternoon. Uh, uh, my name is uh, Katerina. Please uh, switch on your mic. It is supposed to be a button there, or you can use the one the one which has been used before. Uh, good afternoon. Do you read me loud and clear? Yes, yes, we do. Uh, my name is Resni. I, again, again, the same problem with sound. Uh, uh, yes, yes, we hear you. Uh, I, I'm representative uh, of the company Blom for in Ukraine, and I address this question to Anatoly Miroshnichenko. Uh, when when we conduct inventory, the plans of law lands when they were given to communities, mistakenly they were in they were included some territories which belong which belong to. Uh, to people who obtained these documents before. So what can be done by community and who will correct those uh, mistakes in cadastre? Thank you for your question. Uh, on one hand, the answer is simple. On the other, uh, we are not happy with that simplicity. So what can we do? So the law s regulates the situation. This is mistake, and this mistake should be corrected. And the law says that in such cases, the law is corrected in cadastre, is uh, corrected after inputting all the amendments and, uh, to the documentation of land regulation. So land regulation should be uh, uh, amended first. And uh, to say. Well, it's not, it's not easy. It's easier said than do, but we try to orient developers and uh, customers so they have to cooperate together and, and to make uh, timely corrections, and we uh, try to facilitate the process as well. Well, in practical uh, life, it's not easy. It's not always easy, and uh, always there is a, a, a way to... Um, to file a lawsuit, but it's even more expensive. So in this regard, I'd like to draw your attention to the fact that that the best way out is to avoid the problem altogether. So people sometimes do not understand why they should do something in order to input their land plots into cadastre. They just received those uh, lands back in the 90s, and they have a state act which uh, meets uh, all the requirements of that time. So person does not understand why should he or she steer a finger in order to, uh, to, to, to make such corrections and to input it in cadastre. So unfortunately, the situation, uh, well, there is no such a Duty. It's not compulsory, but it's it it it, it, it is ex expedient. So in order to avoid such situations, is to input that uh, land plot into cadastre, and that's what I'd like to reiterate re re and to ask territorial uh, communities to uh, raise the awareness among uh, the members of the communities, so they have to take care of their interests themselves, avoiding such situations uh, like you ex ex explained. Thank you, Anatoly. And now we we'll listen to other person from Kharkiv. Oleg Chernobyl, Pisochinska territorial community. Again, question to Anatoly. Uh, so, so what uh, lands are we talking about? It's like water funds and wood funds were given to communal property. And how can we, uh, uh, for, uh, can we have uh, obtain rights of ownership? Yes, definitely. Uh, Law twenty one. Uh, no, no, uh, 1423, yes, it's a for, for, former project, uh, former bill. 
of uh, Project 94. It was a revolutionary uh, law. It, 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 it has a lot of uh, amendments, uh, good amendments, but uh, due to such a huge amount of scope of work, not all provisions are perfect. And in that part, uh, th there is uh, some ambiguity. So this ambiguity, we try to explain. We also uh, issued a letter which is which is posted on our website in a part of uh, frequent questions. So what the law says, everything is given to communal ownership except some so these exceptions should be explained uh, quite narrowly. Almost all the uh, lands of water funds, uh, except uh, of those which are used by some state enterprises, they are given to communal ownership. A more complex issue is uh, the woodlands. So this is ex uh, this is quite um, complexly uh, uh, formulated. We can, you can understand it in a way that no um, woodland is given to a communal ownership or, or you can understand it as only those lands uh, woodlands are given to uh, local uh, communities which belong to some natural reserves and which belong uh, which belong to state uh, enterprises and I, I believe we have a letter and the spirit of a law and there is a systematic interpretation. So there is a range of considerations stemming out from it should be interpreted in favor of territorial communities. So what is not given, what lands are not given, uh, which are used by state uh, food uh, enterprises and which uh, which belonged to natural reserves. So our interpretation in favor of communities. Thank you very much. We have uh, we have time for two or more questions and two more answers. Do we have any other questions in Kharkiv? No, no questions. So I have a question to Anatoly and Natalia. So. So what question, uh, questions which you expected to hear, you didn't hear them today? Uh, Anatoly, please. Well, that, that question I didn't expect, uh, frankly speaking, but it was voiced. And so maybe, maybe I expected a question, uh, more questions as for normative uh, financial assessment. Uh, there are a lot of problems uh, raised by communities, and as we believe, a lot of these problems can be solved by some uh, rational interpretation of a new uh, financial uh, assessment. Believe me, uh, there was a great, a good intent, and we believe this assessment, the new order of assessment. It meets the intent and uh, does the trick, but uh, for example, if we have a coefficient of assessment which uh, lowered, was lowered, so in in general, in sum up, something was summed up where the co so where coefficient uh, lowered, the local authorities can uh, can have a, a different taxation. Uh, and actually, I expected that. So thank you, Anatolia and Natalia. Uh, and the Andre, I believe that in our addresses, we, we in advance answered everything which uh, uh, can uh, come up within communities because we tried to give them all the subtleties uh, which we encounter in our daily life because we work with them. So we feel the problems which can arise and uh, we have already some position on, on these problems. Uh, yes, we witnessed that. but. Uh, here we have a question and one whole minute for uh, for Mrs. Medvedska and Mr. Slobodyanek. Thank you. I have uh, the last question to Anatoly Mikolaevich. So the question as for control. Uh, so Sergei Kuba has already mentioned that uh, the, the, the communities received uh, that control, which they are about to realize. So. Uh, are there any normative projects which have been established already by GeoCadastra as for the public control, public inspector, that what concerns community? Thank you. Anatoly, please. Uh, first, first of all, I'd like to draw your attention uh, that the question as for the uh, authority of control, this is a call of every community. 
as far as it believes uh, that spending resources for control, this is an option. It's not like obligatory thing. As uh, for the public oversight, yes, uh, such instrument has has. Uh, has been has been introduced long time ago. Well, maybe it's not correctly realized on the level of uh, bylaws, and it's impossible to uh, solve them right now. So what we need is to make amendments to the legislation, namely the code of administer uh, violations, and uh, and and Ivan Slobodyanek actually took hold of a mic without waiting for moderator and this is really deliberate and effective way of uh, doing but please pay attention that we are running out of time i have a very short question uh, the huge amount of uh, lands which were given uh, for rent at the interest of uh, three or four uh, percent interest rate and mostly today we have the different numbers when uh, land is uh, uh, is actually put up on the auctions, so maybe the state geocadaster or ministry can somehow change see such business deals because they have been concluded for 15 or 20 years. So how can we go through the normative financial assessment and uh, correct this, uh, Ron? I totally understand uh, the interest of uh, local budgets and local communities, uh, but this is a double-edged sword. Uh, so these agreements should be carried out, and Ukraine is a right state. It is, it is obliged to guarantee uh, the uh, the, the, those agreements and business deals. So how can we avoid such situations in, f in future, especially when we have too low uh, per percentage uh, interest rate for renting the land plot. So electronic di digital uh, digital auction uh, is the best tool. You have to use that tool. So what you can do with uh, the existing existing current deals? I don't want that the state can ch opt uh, for a mechanism uh, like one-sided mechanism of making making uh, decisions on raising the interest rates of interest, uh, interest rates, or maybe, uh, or maybe to play uh, with uh, uh, financial assessment. So this is a coin of two sides, and state will violate that, and uh, sooner or later someone will address European Court of Rights, and will have it back and compensate it. And I believe that no nobody uh, will be uh, willing to uh, to engage in, in in such agreement with the state, especially when we agree on one sum and tomorrow something radical happens and uh, and let's say well i believe that we understood your idea but last phrase here so negotiations uh, and uh, raising awareness and if a community finds uh, arguments for uh, for a person who is renting the less to reconsider the interest rate natalia can you add something miss natalia dear colleagues Today we discussed a lot of questions, and at the beginning, we are at the beginning of implementation those uh, legislational changes. Don't be shy to give us uh, feedback. We always uh, looking forward for it. If you have any questions to Ministry of Territorial Development of uh, State uh, Geocadaster, please ask your questions. We are ready to help you and provide any assistance that will enable you to implement this uh, reform which we all want to implement. Thank you, Ms. Natalia. And we've heard questions from Kharkiv, number of questions from Kyiv, and because we have representatives from the Association of the Cities, uh, these are questions from all of you over Ukraine. In two, three minutes, we will hear about the experience of Pisochen and Rohan territorial communities, and as we know, in uh, October, there were first public hearings about uh, special planning of uh, Pisochin and Rohan communities. And this tool of effective uh, management of territories uh, will be presented in our next video.
in October, we conducted public hearings on special planning of Pisocin and Rohan communities of Kharkiv Oblast. It's an historic, it's an historical event, first time in Ukraine after uh, special planning law was adopted and communities adopted their respective special planning. Uh, this pilot project is supported by USAID uh, Agro project and it helps to combat corruption in land uh, areas and did they enable to the community to identify their resources and correctly identify the economical development for next years by introducing uh, for, uh, investors we were selected as the for the pilot project for development of new special planning documentations and we thanks to USAID for selecting Pisocin community to develop this uh, uh, comprehensive special planning uh, pro plan. We collected all data regarding the land, uh, their owners, and we were able to develop the project of the uh, future development of the community thanks to the help from the professionals that were working with our community, we were able to collect all necessary information, make it uh, publicly accessible, and to use it in future for the benefit of our community. Main, what we have to pay attention is that, uh, as per today, a huge responsibility is uh, given to the citizens of the community for the suggestions that they provide and we have to pay a lot of attention to intensify the public initiatives for the citizens to freely uh, express their, uh, uh, their suggestions and to stimulate cooperation between business and communities. Oleg Chernobyl said that they were thankful to be selected for implementing this project. In order to be pre-selected, you should uh, somehow to stand out because there were certain criteria for selection because uh, I believe that there were reasons to cooperate uh, in with uh, these communities. And now uh, representatives from Pisocin and Rohan communities will share their experience on how their special planning uh, uh, had been conducted and uh, uh, and participants will be uh, able to learn with the documentation that was prepared. I pass the floor to Oleg Chernobyl, acting head of, of the Pisocin territorial community. As we mentioned, Pisocin community was selected yes M mr oleg we have issues yes good day yeah much better quality of sound yes as i mentioned pisocian community had been selected for the pilot project on special planning documentation development we signed a memorandum with USAID Agri on cooperation, and we are very thankful to them. You will ask uh, whether there are any doubts about necessity for such, such special planning documents. Yes, we were in doubt, but our team decided that we m should move forward in order to create comfort, uh, uh, <coughs> opportunities for our uh, citizens for our investors in order to correspond in full to new legislation, to bring in new investments, to have more incomes to our local budget. Our community was established in 2018 and Pisocin territorial community incorporated three villages Pisocin, Karotechan, and Berezivka villages, 
total population is uh, slightly over 30,000 people. Total area 78 uh, square kilometers. We are very close to Kharkiv city. I want to mention that one of the most important decisions for us to go for special planning project was that the city planning documents that we had previously, it was outdated. For example, the uh, the plan, the land, the land plan of uh, the city plan of Pisochin village was developed in 1982. Ask yourself, does this uh, uh, land plan of the village is in line with the current situation? Yes, of course, no. How you can bring in investors if your documents are aged uh, since 1972? A lot of citizens were not capable to privatize their landlords because there was discrepancy in the uh, uh, general plan and uh, city planning uh, documents uh, with uh, the land categories that are now adopted. So this comprehensive special planning doc, uh, program was important for people to privatize their landlords to, uh, to have additional funds in the budget and to, uh, that will be used for improving the living conditions in the commun territorial community. From, we started from collecting and analyzing data, and that's where we had a lot of problems. But I am I, I'm sure that uh, Ministry of uh, Regional Development uh, will uh, adjust those issues because a lot of uh, problems that we has we we had will be removed. With regards to special planning, when we collected uh, initial data, we created map of the territory or the comprehensive map of uh, the our community we understand that in different communities uh, this step is uh, been implemented at different level but we prepared a very high quality uh, uh, map of our territories which is now available in the jail portal and now every every citizens of ukraine has a possibility to uh, learn about all data about the current situation uh, of uh, our uh, spe related our special planning, and we prepared a prospect plan that was adopted at during public hearings, and that we we are capable to implement after we discuss that with our architects. And it's very important to. Uh, uh, to harmonize uh, the suggestions from public with the things that are implementable according to the opinion of architects. So maybe we maybe put in 90% of the suggestions because uh, uh, in certain cases we have certain uh, limitations for the suggestions from the general public. Why we need this special planning and what, where we moved when we could developed it. We identified areas where we will have uh, residential development uh, activities, not only low, uh, low rise buildings, by high rising buildings, because our uh, population of our community is growing. Uh, young people move to Pisachin because we're creating comfortable conditions for their uh, living and we allocated 10 hectares of land for uh, high-rise uh, development. During public hearings and when we discussed issue, uh, these issues with architects, we asked if we will have high-rise buildings where the children will study and when we were preparing this special planning, we selected uh, uh, land lots. We allocated land lots for schools, for number of kindergartens, where we have SNAP, where we have recreational zones. And all this was uh, 
put into special planning uh, documents. And for certain, for certain infrastructure, we developed detailed uh, design requirements in order to be able to start uh, building of those facilities in very nearest futures, so like, such like uh, SNAP or City Park. When we will have uh, high-rise buildings, we will need to finance a certain social infra infrastructure from certain, and more than seven hectares were allocated for industry, logistical, uh, trade facilities. And this will be uh, logistical hubs, uh, industrial uh, uh, territories where that will create new jobs and bring more incomes to our local budgets. And from those proceedings, we will finance socially important facilities that we have planned to construct in our community. During the last months, we had a number of requests from investors, and now they are working on uh, changing the intended uh, use of the lands for the industrial use from agricultural use. Uh, at the end of the last year, we, Nova Poshta built a regional center in our the territory of our community. And it brought us uh, 1,500 million, uh, 1,500,000 grivna every month uh, from that uh, uh, facility. If we will implement everything that we planned from the architects, only from the land tax, we will receive 7 million annual proceedings uh, to our budget and uh, uh, also increase in the um, personal income uh, taxes. In last three years, we had built two new schools with the support of the cabinet of ministers and the president of Ukraine, but we still need more uh, school places. Thanks. To the architects, we were able to establish how many new schools we still need. We also worked about the issues of safety of our citizens. Uh, we defined where we will have uh, a place for building a, a safety area, where we'll have a firefighting uh, brigade, where we'll, we'll have uh, emergency stage, uh, emergency uh, station, in just to make living of our citizens safer. And we all those areas are already allocated on our uh, land, ma uh, land map. Uh, we were surprised when we defined that 30% of our uh, landlords are in, th in, in certain way are restricted. Yeah, somewhere it's a, it's a cultural heritage restriction. So, and those restrictions are quite heavy. So, and when we mentioned that it's difficult to uh, get access to all uh, primary data, and because lo this information had been collected step by step uh, in order to be put in, uh, into geo portal. After we analyzed the current conditions, we've we discovered that a lot of people haven't privatized their landlords yet. Only certain percent of territories are privatized. The rest is state or municipal is in state or municipal ownership, and uh, this will make give opportunity to people to finally privatize their landlords, which they are using for quite a long time already. In actually, so this comprehensive special planning uh, documentations. It's a tool for implement all our uh, uh, plans. It's it, it shows us what resources we have to develop our community. And what I want to mention uh, to all the communities, everyone, every community, when you still in doubt whether to go for special planning, I can uh, professionally tell you, go and develop it, because this is a way to find additional resources, additional landlords, additional opportunities. It also, you will be surprised uh, uh, about 
presence of certain negative uh, stories because there are certain uh, uh, issues that you were not aware about. You will know that this landlord will have not be allocated for something because it uh, has some uh, historical heritage importance. And don't don't get stalled. You have to move forward because we are living in different realities. You will not have a map uh, that. Uh, uh, a written map that will be used by your uh, city uh, city planning officers. Not only people, but only business and investor had must have an opportunity to look at the uh, community uh, territory map and understand where he can build the facility, where he cannot. Uh, as a head of the territorial community, I urge you to. Uh, participate in this project because we're working. Thank, thank you very much, Oleg. We, you, you have two questions for on my behalf. Uh, you, even Mike cannot cover all your smile when you talk about that. I feel that you're really happy with all the changes which are going on, but maybe you have something of concern. Well, when we developed the complex plans and we had uh, public hearings, we had some moments uh, when you, you have to find understanding with the people. For example, if it was chaotic uh, construction, especially dating back to 1972, you understand that transport infrastructure is on the very primitive level. So we determined land plots. Uh, especially in the private ownership, which should be foreseen for uh, for roads in order to have communication fast and reliable. But I'm sure that we can find this understanding, and people will uh, we, we, we will help us in order to, uh, to 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 provide the best for the interests of our village. And we also have to enlarge our school, and this is one hectare of territory, and this uh, territory is in private ownership and complex plan and general plan envisages that it uh, this land will be used for uh, pub for public needs and we understand that we have to find understanding with uh, owners in, in order to implement this project and I want to say that tomorrow we are going to have ad hoc meeting where we are going to consider the issue of buying one hectare from private uh, property uh, for private ownership in order to enlarge the territory of the school, and this is a complex plan of spatial, de of territorial development. An owner understood that chaotic building, chaotic construction is is not is not a way, and we, we understand that sh this development should be complex, which considers the interest of investors, people, and authority. And one more remark, one more question, when we talk about security of the villagers, so it's quite clear that uh, we have to establish uh, emergency service and uh, and uh, also a fire fighter brigade. But uh, what what about the uh, lighting uh, along the roads? I'd like to mention that in this regard we have uh, everything we need. We have uh, around 99 percent of the streets uh, are lighted. And uh, we, we build in, and we repair existing uh, roads and build new ones. And I want to mention that in the center of Pisochian, we, we have no dirt roads, only uh, only some blind allies. And I'm I'm take, uh, I'm I'm really serious on that. And this is systematic work, and people are happy. Besides that, we closely cooperate with the national police. Uh, we uh, implemented program uh, Secure City. We have uh, CCTV cameras around uh, around this city, and uh, especially on kindergarten, uh, medical facilities, schools. They, they have a lot of CCTV cameras, and we have Situation Awareness Center. Together with police officers of our community, we work in this regard in order to have no street at all which is not covered by video surveillance in order to provide safe and secure environment for the villagers. Thank you very much. And I'd like to ask you more questions, but we have our 
uh, other panelists, and I'd like to give the floor to uh, Mikola Kotelevce. Let me remind that, uh, that he's the deputy mayor of Rohan for humanitarian affairs and social economic policy. But, well, it will be written on the screen. Good afternoon again. Uh, the deputy mayor of Rohan for humanitarian affairs and social economic policy. I'd like to talk about uh, Rohan achievements. Rohan, uh, and as for the development of the special uh, planning. And uh, w together with Pisachin, uh, we have something in similar. Uh, we uh, we bounder, we have our boundaries of the same lands, and we measure on the same uh, center. But uh, but our village council uh, was created back in 2016 by uh, amalgamating of two uh, Panarokivska village council and Rahan uh, village council. We have two Rahan and village Dukuchayevsk were um, national uh, national agrarian institute university named by uh, after the kuchai vasil vasilovich and uh, the area is 78 square kilometers and the population a little bit more than 16000 people uh, when when we analyze the current state of affairs, we uh, came to such results that uh, we have around 50% of lands, maybe even 72% of lands. Uh, so these are orable agricultural lands. On the one side, on the one hand, it gives us opportunity to understand in what direction we are supposed to develop. And on the other hand, we have to understand that such a number of such amount of lands is actually restrains us from development. Some uh, settlements uh, they they have no way to develop uh, because uh, fifty percent of all the lands they are in uh, in the public property. No, they do not belong to community. So they, they they are used by educational institutions, by state enterprises. This is a restraint. Uh, we understand that these are very valuable lands, and they cannot be easily extracted from uh, the public uh, ownership. And in this uh, regard, I'd like to say that uh, that state land, state-owned states. We, they, they are not only behind uh, the villages, but even within the boundaries of villages. So we knew that before, and with the help of complex plan, we tried to solve it. In our Dokuchayevsk village, we, we have a multi-apartment fund was uh, transferred to communal ownership back in 2000, uh, 2000 but no, no one submitted the lands, and still that, that land belongs to agrarian university. And it's a huge problem because if people start uh, having organizations uh, for their uh, uh, for their buildings and they won't uh, have it easily because the process itself is really co complicated and we have to mention that when a complex plan was developed we the first thing which should be taken into consideration is the interest of a local community why uh, first Ukraine uh, Ukraine's, uh, positions itself as a democratic state, and we are developing uh, to uh, our country in this direction. And and democracy is the basement of uh, of this uh, as, uh, of this uh, regime. And we announced that on social networks, in in messengers, as uh, for the suggestions. So we received approximately 50, um, 50 uh, recommendations. Uh, so uh, seventy uh, c c were social and seventy commercials. 12, 12 of them we uh, took into consideration, 12 of them we corrected because there are some objective uh, uh, limitations and one, one suggestion we didn't take into consideration accordingly. Also, uh, we have to understand that community is not like island which uh, is isolated. Uh, so community uh, measures the other uh, communities uh, and there we, we, we have rayons and uh, so districts uh, oblasts so we understand the Ukraine is unitary state and we have to take this into consideration and we have to take into consideration the interest of other uh, bodies of executive power and uh, interest of the state so oblast also has its own strategy of development and neighboring uh, communities have their own strategies and they then they can overlap and uh, 
collide. So we have to take into consideration all those interests. Uh, frankly speaking, it was like a news for us when we saw on the level of the state uh, level uh, level we, we saw that uh, there is a road to be built through our ter territorial uh, community. And we didn't know about that. So we took that into consideration and we include that into the plan. And especially when in dialogue with energetic systems, we reveal that they have their own plans as uh, for pylons of high voltage uh, cables. And we also uh, envisaged uh, such some, some territory for uh, station, power station there. And also, you have uh, to understand that there is a documentation for city plan documentation which was developed long time ago. Uh, something was uh, ordered by uh, private developers or uh, and customers. And for example, in our territory, we have uh, enterprise Philip Morris Ukraine, which which let's say is a budget, main budget uh, facility uh, which brings revenues to budget actually and uh, and then uh, re specializing uh, some facilities and enlarging the production site uh, everything was uh, taken taken into consideration and uh, we have to say that we have to check uh, those detailed plans of territories uh, uh, as for are they uh, in compliance with uh, with uh, country legislation, especially we are talking about plans which have been developed a long time ago, like 2010, and the complex plan can do that. Uh, as uh, we understand, So planning of territories is divided into roughly uh, in this is according to the social, to the commercial, and social commercial. Uh, when we collect data uh, during uh, public uh, discussions and when people addressed us, we took into consideration their suggestions. And, uh, and this presentation can show some of them. So social character, these uh, cemeteries and administrative service uh, and uh, recreational zones and commercial aspect of it. Uh, and because we understand that uh, community, uh, sh if the community is sustainable, it, it needs uh, uh, some capacities and uh, revenues, and for the revenues you have to um, draw the attention of investors and to allow them to build enterprises, to, cr uh, to create uh, more employment uh, opportunities for local people, and uh, a lot uh, of uh, lands were planned for these particular purposes. And also I'd like to say about that the complex plans of spatial development can can form uh, the land plots in the database of uh, geocadastral. We understand that what we that we we need uh, to perform some actions, uh, especially on reconstruction, civil construction, and we don't have uh, we, we, we don't have that data input. So complex plan can can help, and especially when it is being developed, we can uh, use that. Uh, not only the days, uh, database of uh, land cadets, but also the date plans of territories. So if we and, and for, foresee the planning decision on one uh, object, one facility, so for this, it will be much easier to get uh, some limitations and uh, some plans uh, for the building itself. And uh, almost the uh, uh, coming to the end of my presentation, I'd like to thank uh, and uh, say thank you, Said Agro, for uh, such opportunity uh, to take part in this uh, serious project. S frankly speaking, this year was really difficult for us, and and in order to develop this complex plan, we have to we have to engage a lot of resources, uh, our own resources, and. Uh, and and also uh, members of the federal community in order to do that all because there will be a lot of work to do. So complex plan is uh, 
you, and this, uh, this is unified approach. We unify city planning and documentation and uh, land uh, documentation. It has never been before in our history when we combined, uh, when we unified uh, such documents and uh, also uh, we, frankly speaking, happy and really excited that today we managed to achieve it. So we look back at our work. Did we really do that? Yes, we did. And believe that the previous speaker said, is it worse the squeeze? Yes, definitely it worse. This is our development. This is our investment portal. I mean, spatial uh, uh, portal, which is agreed with the people, which is which includes all the necessary data. And don't forget that a plan sh should always be updated. It it sh should be complemented with additional information. So this document should be worked with. Uh, and even after its adoption, because time is passing and community is is changing, uh, some decisions can be made which can be different, uh, and etc. So at the very end, I'd like to show one uh, video as for the geo portal of spatial data of our territorial community. As you can see, it consists of some layers, topographic uh, map, orto orto photo plan, also grounds, addresses of land plots, boundaries of administrative settlements. So everything can be switched on, switched off. So there are such options. Uh, also, we uh, we can click on one land plot and, and see what uh, kind of uh, land plot it is, uh, to see its cadastre number, ownership, uh, designation, and the name of the owner even, and developer of technical specification or project specification for this particular land plot. Also, spatial planning has in its structure the deci our decisions, which, which we actually complemented during the planning process. So clicking on planning decision, you can see what is it, why do we need it, so how is it used, and to, to, to see some parallel usages it can be used uh, for other things too. Also, a spatial plan has all avail available restrictions and uh, terms for city planning. You can see all infrastructure, utilities, uh, electricity lines, uh, which can which can present some restrictions, and. Uh, I'd like to say that complex uh, plan is uh, already posted on GeoPortal, and it will be fully accessible after uh, the uh, approve, approval. So when we approve it, uh, it will th th there will be a link to uh, the geospatial data, and uh, clicking on the link, people will see that for themselves. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mekola. We often hear that uh, what we like to hear is for, well, I didn't hear that uh, from Oleg Chernobyl, but I heard necessary, something which brings result. So we will follow the developments uh, and their success in your community and in Pisochin. And now I give the floor to Katerina Areznikova. Uh, she, she is a deputy executive director of Bloom Info. Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon again. And my today's presentation uh, about the, the decision and uh, choice of leaders of territorial community, and how we create comfortable conditions for uh, for the villagers. And uh, today I'm going to present not only the results which were done in a course uh, in a course of uh, creating special plan for Rohani and Pisochen, but I also like to show uh, s some uh, some achievements which we gained, um, which we gained for these communities, which are aimed at minimizing of those mistaken decisions which can be uh, made. I'd like to uh, I'd like to show you the manual of the deputy. Uh, which can, can help you with uh, the steps which they need to be taken in order to go through the, all the procedural uh, um, phases in order to understand 
what, how can we benefit from the development of a special plan of territorial development? So the uh, complex planning of territorial development is, uh, is a document which enables you to take into consideration all the needs of the community, the social needs, um, also initiatives and the possibility of implementing those initiatives which uh, your investors have and definitely a secure environment for uh, local residents. How can we do that? In detail, you can uh, see that in our manual. So it will it will walk you through the main aspects of creating these or uh, stages of uh, this uh, plan, uh, starting stretching from uh, the legal uh, background up to the motivation and benefits. And I believe that every community and uh, uh, every speaker before me they mentioned that there are a lot of questions. Uh, so how can we fill our budget? How can we satisfy uh, the needs of investor? How can we in increase uh, the needs of our ex external investors? How can we rationally use the territory? And as Oleg has mentioned, uh, sometimes it happens Actually, it often happens when they don't know about the resources they have uh, in their disposal. And so complex plan uh, enables us to create such com comfort living conditions for our residents and for the whole oblast and in Ukraine in general. Maybe this is the, the motivating factor which will motivate us to use this tool, the tool of spatial plan of territorial development. So how do we start it? Uh, well, uh, with, uh, we start with making decisions. It's really important that these uh, decisions meet the requirements of the documents which we have right now. We have to take into consideration those terms which we have in our work. Uh, create effective working group. Take into consideration uh, the implications and the consequences. And don't forget about indicators uh, which show us uh, the quality of this uh, plan. And uh, in order to understand what is the role of a community in complex planning and what should be done by territorial community, I'd like to present uh, that slide, which demonstrates the main stages of developing a complex plan. First uh, stage is a preliminary stage, which starts with uh, adopting that decision and uh, ends uh, with uh, tender procedures and uh, uh, and designing a uh, developer of this document. I'd like to draw your attention to one fact. This is quite a scrupulous uh, stage, and it's really important to pay attention to the procedural moments. Uh, for, further, especially in order not to have some precedents in the future uh, for canceling of such decisions. And next uh, stage, this is the main stage which is performed or executed, executed together with the developer, and which it uh, gives you understanding of what are prospects of future development of your territory, what are the main vectors where your community goes. And the, the most important, this stage is it should be discussed uh, publicly. Uh, so all the suggestions should be here uh, heard out. And as for the final stage, all the improvement stages, which uh, this is expertise, this is approval, and only after that we can talk. We can we can talk about the transfer of uh, the data to a state uh, cadastre and a city cadastre. In the process of the complex plan development. Uh, this is a really a uh, responsible role uh, which we attribute to the suggestions which we receive from our community and we have to listen to them, to hear them out. And uh, the, the leaders of communities have to activate that uh, process and to hear uh, the suggestions and include them while uh, making the decisions. What concerns those achievements which we got during our pilot project, most of them were promulgated and now are accessible for your uh, familiarization. So the technical specification was uh, uh, posted and it's uh, on the Facebook page uh, of USA Agro Facebook and on uh, websites of our territorial communities. 
Uh, so we understood that the preliminary stage is really important stage which should uh, our community uh, go through. And uh, the territorial community um, has to achieve that, let's say, ideal documentation which will satisfy all their needs. So what should we start with? Uh, definitely with adopting, with making decisions. So most of our communities have already made such uh, such decisions on developing spatial pl plans. But unfortunately, not all of them, they meet the requirements. Uh, of, uh, to, uh, of, uh, of the regulation of the state regulation, please take uh, reconsider it again and analyze it, and uh, make sure that uh, your documentation meets the requirements of uh, leg leg legislation. And working group is advisory body which uh, helps you to analyze to process the the results of your work and to, to help to develop that complex plan. On the next stage, we determine the thematic uh, directions uh, and we find uh, stakeholders. We uh, will launch a strategic session. Why do we need strategic session? This is the main event. For uh, it's a public uh, discussion event which aims at uh, considering all the interests of uh, stakeholders from the territorial uh, community uh, while uh, generalizing all the achievements of all uh, during the strategic session is done by working group and and the project is being developed for uh, the plan all the all the stages which we have discussed already they are accompanied by two uh, stages so initial data uh, collection unfortunately representatives have already uh, community representatives have already reiterated that um, uh, so on this day it's quite a difficult stage because not all the managers are ready to share their data. And the second, um, it's, it's so it's kind of red tape uh, procedure which doesn't give us uh, receive the data which we need. And one more procedure which will accompany you uh, on the way of uh, complex plan development is uh, a promulgation and informing uh, your residents uh, or publicizing it on uh, web pages of communities uh, through activists. And the final stage, this is. Uh, this is announcement of tender, finding uh, uh, the doer, and uh, publishing the calendar of uh, all the events. So, yeah, we have we, so working group. This is advisory body. And take into consideration that a complex plan is a document which includes uh, desires, wishes of all our investors, of all the stakeholders. So here. We have a pos opportunity to create an instrument, a tool, uh, this working group, which will ena enable us to work, co cooperate effectively between business, community, and state authorities. So working groups should include representatives of authorities, not more than half of them, plus one, representatives of uh, civil activists and uh, public figures, utility service representatives, so regulate the number of uh, working group. And in accordance to, to 926 uh, uh, regulation, we should have no more than five and uh, no less than five and no more than 25 persons in this working group. Uh, when we approved the, the number of a working group, we have to understand what should we do in order to develop the technical specifications. Uh, excuse me, Kate. Kate uh, Kate, excuse me. Uh, so, in, in the, so we 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 scrupulously follow uh, followed everything you mentioned. But please, where in digital form we can familiarize ourselves with the, your manual, which you have already mentioned on this day. The manual in digital form will be distributed among all the registered participants of this event, and uh, also it, it 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 will be posted on the Facebook of all USA Agro. Thank you very much. Well, we often hear that in Ukraine we have uh, to do some homework in order to advance uh, further, but uh, I I believe that a good homework is. Uh, 
is uh, familiarizing with uh, that uh, manual. Uh, Kate, thank you very much. It was a really good presentation, but after after going through all those uh, stages, uh, and uh, we have motivated and prepared communities to understand the benefits of developing this complex plan. So what should developers know in order to satisfy the needs of uh, local uh, communities? So the, word, uh, the floor is given to Lydia Chizhevska, the main, uh, the main architect. Good day. Uh, greetings to all participants. I'm very glad to present uh, this tutorial on how to develop special planning for a territorial community. This is intended for professionals. And here I'm very pleased to be a, a chief architect of the pilot project on special planning of our community. And I'm delighted to receive such positive uh, responses from our community. Our tutorial consists of eight chapters, and if we would start presenting it at the very beginning of our special planning initiative, I would say I would be very thankful for such tutorial. Yeah, S thank you for having it or for not having it. Sometimes thank you for having it. Yeah. Yes, of course, for ha we we meant to we we meant to have it here. We collected all mechanisms how to develop a high quality plan of special pl planning, and we also mentioned all legislative basics for such special planning project. And because it, according to our our city development legislation had been changed, and local city development uh, planning procedures are defined by uh, Cabinet of Ministers Resolution um, 906 and a couple of more which we that you had to study thoroughly. We all developed to have a detailed general plan of the city or village on the documentations on uh, land use and on the of certain territories. Here I want to talk to my colleagues. You all are professionals in your area of expertise. But please imagine that today you uh, you uh, just started to work for the community. Will it be one or two general plans sufficient to you? Will it be enough for you to make a balanced decision about allocating landlord for use to uh, take in consideration on on all uh, restricted zones with having only those uh, documents. That's why comprehensive special planning allows us to simplify the pro development plan of the community and which will be a useful tool for each community. What is necessary for this uh, comprehensive special planning? Of course, we need uh, hardware. We need, uh, and and we need uh, to use GIS uh, technologies because the uh, the era of paper uh, documentation has gone finally. After we had uh, law seven hundred eleven adopted, it finished. We need to collect all available data about the resources of the community and provide to the community this tool for it to really to be capable to understand what they have available on their territory and how to use those resources. And we need certain uh, software and certain experts, uh, certified experts or uh, certified architects, but it's a work not only of one person, but of all a team of uh, transport engineers, ecology specialists, so sociology specialists. Of course, usually in each city has certain architectural uh, facility, but it it is built by a team of people. And let's go talk about the algorithm of preparing uh, this special document special development project and it 
it's not that much changed uh, from uh, the requirements that were adopted before. We analyze the resources of the community. We define the prospects of the community, no, community development. And but the innovation is that we have to approve them at the public hearings because it's not up to us experts in architecture to live in this community. We have to uh, adopt our decisions in line with the relevance to the particular community with whom you're working. And later, of course, we publicly uh, announce all the data of the uh, uh, special plan and for uh, all people interested can uh, learn about uh, the solutions and we have to announce them to our neighbor communities and make them envy to us and uh, make them want to prepare a special plan to for them and also we have to receive all approvals and uh, first public hearing we have to city planning council uh, committee and then we only then we submit information to uh, state register land registers and of course a lot of uh, depends from the quality input data we have to thoroughly check the data are they still relevant do with the actual conditions how precise they did we collect all data about the for example uh, gas pipelines about um, or maybe we missed something or maybe certain uh, pipeline is 20 meters away from the documented uh, uh, piece because all these issues they influence on the uh, on the citizens in the in the territorial community and these decisions uh, should be uh, made according to the current legislation. We have to understand that data can be very, quality of data can be very different and maybe they can be in paper form, they can be scanned, they, they can be some land surveying data, that can be geo data that we can uh, acquire from the uh, NSAID portal from state cadaster portal in order for uh, community to be uh, capable of using uh, this data they sh this data should be unified and this is the task for the professional to put them into a unified co uh, coordinate uh, system to visualize them in a unified manner we have to understand thank you for very concise presentation and if we will uh, start talking about NSGD uh, we have representatives from uh, this authority and uh, NSDI please uh, stay online with us because you will have opportunity to ask questions to Mr. Andre Galaida he is a director of the national Special Data Infrastructure Department of the State Geocadaster, and Mr. Yuri Karpinski, Chief Research Fellow of the Research Institute of Geodesy and Cartography, and uh, and also not least uh, important practical important practical information about how to pub publicize data on national geo portals. Yes. Please, microphone. Greetings to the participants of the conference. Yes, in year 2021, uh, we received a big boost in development of GIS uh, uh, technologies in uh, because starting from the January 1st of January 2021. Uh, the law was enforced and we started to develop our national infrastructure. I, uh, don't, please don't wait. Yes, national infrastructure 
has uh, a legal basis, we have a law, we have regulations, and, and this process is uh, going on. We cannot only stop it, we just have to develop and make it better. The, the main what I want to mention, because we can talk about a lot when we're talking about the uh, special data and they should but first of all let's talk about their quality and how this uh, they made ex publicly accessible the main portal was presented uh, this year and it unifies the holders of the uh, geospatial data and uh, what, uh, what i also want to stress that we are uh, talking about the creating quality instruments for uh, territorial management by the territorial communities uh, authorities and in order to we can use geospatial data to effectively manage the territories at the national geo portal we have a publicized number of data uh, both of national regional and local re level and we have uh, certain territorial communities joined this portal. I want to show a number of uh, examples. For example, here is implement imp geo portal of uh, Lviv City Council. And it's already visualized at National Geo Portal. We also have examples where territorial communities, local uh, self-government authorities, already implemented uh, their special planning and uh, they uploaded for the public uh, access at our portal. And the main topic of our uh, conference, special planning of territorial development. We have uh, special planning uh, accomplished for Rohan and Pisocian communities and they already uh, publicly accessible at our portal. The main thing to what I want to urge all uh, land users and, uh, and owners, when you want to uh, create high quality special planning data, please uh, use quality tools that will help you uh, better manage your territories, uh, make uh, better decisions, not to look every time for a big number of experts in order to receive certain piece of information. Have this information at your fingertips and use it uh, daily in your uh, administrative activities. Thank you, Andre. Do we have questions to Mr. Andre Galaida? Please uh, announce them or maybe we will we will listen to them after the presentation of Mr. Karpinski. Uh, Ms. Katerina had a question from Kharkiv. Yep. If you're holding the mic, it means there is something to ask. Uh, we don't receive... No, no questions. So, we... And now we pass the floor to Mr. Yuri Karpinski. Good day, uh, all participants. Just in order to continue the special planning of territorial development, I want to mention that uh, national special data infrastructure is intended to integrate all spatial data on one portal. Everyone who faced the problem with collecting numerous data knows how much effort should be put in order to collect all those data. And our distinguished architects mentioned that in our country we have the special data are created in uh, by different uh, um, uh, authorities in di according to different systems of code of. Uh, 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 of codifications and in order to get uh, quality vector data you will need a lot of effort and uh, costs and this infrastructure is intended to keep them in one place to have them on high quality of uh, 
uh, of the and available to everyone in order to improve development of the communities in order to uh, implement this integration, we need to conduct a number of technical measures which are so important that they influence the state policy in this sphere. At least they influence the state policy in the special data. And the first decision important for the communities is uh, uh, technological uh, base uh, uh, foundation of how on generating databases. Yes, we're talking uh, about very practical recommendations and conclusions. Those communities that already have certain level of uh, uh, their special planning resources, they they should continue to development using the tools that they have already. Those who are making their first steps, they have opportunity to choose the GIS uh, platforms. A couple of years ago, uh, State Geocadaster had uh, looked for the, uh, had thought about necessity to use all country use uh, unified software, but uh, car modern GIS solutions that comply with the EU directive on development of uh, an integration of GIS data allows to create federation of systems and to conduct uh, exchange of information via GIS services that are mentioned in the law on national infrastructure and about the uh, national spatial planning uh, uh, data, uh, spatial data infrastructure. And via internet, these uh, databases exchange information and geoportals from uh, certain types of uh, geocadasters uh, exchange this information, including the uh, geoportals of uh, local self-government authorities. This is very important technological decision that allows us to uh, sustainably develop, uh, develop spe uh, special data infrastructure locally. We have uh, metadata, to, uh, topical data, and services that I mentioned that uh, uh, enable communication of s between databases and standards of uh, NSDI. And here we can see a list of uh, 17 uh, basic uh, JS uh, uh, sets that are related to topographical object. Topography is at the uh, foundation of everything. I've listened carefully our conference from where we should receive these topographical uh, plans in order to create these 17 sets of JS data. The informational resource will be for you the topographical maps and plans in, uh, in the scale 2000, 10,000, 50,000. So, uh, Based on and the very the first set is the systems of uh, coordinates and heights. So the 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 first stage must uh, uh, trans transfer all data into state geodesic uh, system of coordinates USK two thousand, and those communities who already uh, at the initial stage of uh, special planning. Uh, development, please make sure that all works are conducted in this coordinate system. I understand there are a lot of problems where, where to get this uh, uh, recent uh, topographical data from where you should get the, board, the borders of your territorial communities, uh, but this way should be uh, passed according to the correct topographical uh, coordinates. Well, uh, you ordered a topographic survey, uh, you will have them done, but it doesn't stop here. So geodesy uh, changes everything, that the shape of land is changing. Uh, so especially when we talk about a big scale map. So when, when everything when is done in in timely manner, then monitoring, uh, synchronization of that process is done according to very harsh rules. So 
only every artifact cannot be taken uh, actually facility with the build uh, the building until we, we don't have a topographical survey done and putting them into the database so such normative documents are getting ready but as for the natural objects so update of them should be done not sooner than three or five uh, years or to photo plans uh, and maybe even space uh, or plans, uh, space shooting should be done every three or five years. And I'd like to tell the geostatic cadaster uh, almost finished a new way of topographic survey, starting from 1,500 and to 1 to 1,000 ratio with the use of new geo technologies like uh, shooting from the space, shooting from uh, drones, and, uh, and, and, and a lot of other means. So now I'd like to tell about the data, not only basic, but also automatic data. Uh, I'd like to mention that complex uh, planning of uh, spatial development of territory territories, it uh, belongs to thematic data, which uh, are supposed to be formed on the basic uh, data. Here we have an issue, and I heard a lot today, so these data should be qualitative. So how qualitative uh, uh, data we have already used before when we uh, when we go when we shift from uh, one paradigm uh, paradigm of uh, uh, geospatial from from the map to the geospatial sphere so uh, topicality availability and uh, so it was one of the main demand but informational paradigm issues one more requirement so requirement to uh, to scheme special schemes in order to make sure that they can uh, provide the process of uh, developing the project automated ones and uh, also we talked about unification of data and these data should be of certain level so this sphere is, uh, con is uh, controlled by ISO 19100, ge ge Geographical Information Geomatica. And in Ukraine, we have this uh, structure created. And on your screen, you can see 14 standards which we, are pr which we have prepared. And uh, this is the minimum standards which we have uh, to mm -hmm. adhere to in order to have uh, qualitative data. And the main thing which I draw you attention to is the national standards of the 8475 the modeling of spatial data whatever spatial information you order or complex plan or topographic uh, survey uh, so technical specification should include um, uh, that it should be done in uh, compliance with uh, uh, state standards of uh, of data, and I see that I I have always uh, exhausted exhausted my time. But the main thing that that. And I believe that here we can give a floor to Kharkiv, as we have promised. And I'd like to say that this, maybe it won't be a question from Katerina Reznikova, uh, so Blooming for Ukraine Deputy Director, maybe it will be a recommendation, a piece of advice. Everything we heard, how to develop, how to do that, can be only in theory if uh, we have if you don't have uh, money. And uh, Kate is going to tell us where can we get that money in, in order to have these plans done. Thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. Uh, usually when we developed it, uh, developed the technical specification, the first issue which, uh, uh, which uh, usually we asked, uh, so uh, state territorial communities has usually ask, how much does it cost? Where can we get these funds? So the first thing, what you're supposed to do, you address uh, the developers of those uh, plans and you ask them to calculate. So here you have to know some indicators of your community. So the area, the general area of community 
community, uh, number of population, what about the administrative center um, uh, general plan, what decisions, what amount of decisions should be developed, how many land plots are going to be registered uh, according to the plan and uh, what are the restrictions and what is their number. The only moment you have this financial assessment uh, so the next issue, the next question, where can we get that money? And usually they, they, they just break their head. Where can I get that money? So I can, I can uh, give you some uh, recommendations. I would definitely start with the state regional programs and uh, see what elements of the complex plan uh, can be financed by these programs. Then I would draw the attention of investors uh, on the, I, I, I see a question in yours, who is interested uh, among investors? Well, the first, uh, those who would like to change the, uh, the applicability of the land sources. And this process will be uh, really simplified and to change the designation of land will be much easier and much cheaper. So when we when we count our money and we still lack when then we attract uh, uh, infrastructure subvention and we have a regulation 83 regulation which gives us that opportunity. So what you need is to know the area of your territorial community. And when you counted all your money and still there is uh, not enough, then you ask for international technical assistance and donor organizations and we address them to co-finance that. So how can we do that? The first thing is to look for announcement and suggestions on behalf of donors on websites like GURT and PROSTIR and we prepare the appeal and then we receive fine funds and when we used exhausted all four instruments and we still lack money only after that we plan to use our own budget. Here don't forget that uh, a good program should be developed and, uh, and funds should be allocated and the last thing which I'd like to mention that complex approach gives some benefits for local authorities. Remember that that, com that in complex it's always cheaper, in complex it's always faster. Remember that complex plan is the opportunity uh, by uh, at expense of Geoportal to engage uh, the bigger amount of uh, people to decision-making process and uh, having such an algorithm, step-by-step -step algorithm enables local authorities to achieve uh, all the tasks, all the aims which are included in their complex plan. So we are open for communication. We are ready to share experience. We are ready to discuss a lot of questions and problems which uh, are not discussed and not solved. And I wish you effective complex plans. I wish you uh, qualitative development, developers and qualified uh, personnel and and uh, satisfied investors and remember satisfied internal investor is a capable community and capable community is strong ukraine thank you uh, thank you kate uh, well i i had to, to give the floor to uh, kate well when when you uh, when you wish those complex plans and i have an ex uh, an idea that the tutorial or manual which you have published can help in this regard. And uh, I have one more question. When I was, uh, let's mm -hmm. say, uh, quite young, I uh, read some literature uh, and uh, always there was um, a provision for young kids, for school graduates. So for what age category is your tutorial? Well, we have two tutorials, uh, one for um, uh, local authorities, uh, self-governing authorities, and uh, age uh, doesn't play any role here. And we have a uh, manual for professionals who are good. And uh, it also includes step-by-step -step algorithms, what should be done in order the complex plan uh, should become um, qualitative. And the quality of that plan we can assess only uh, when we have many planning decisions are implemented. Thank you very much. Uh, it was uh, Kate Reznikova, Kate. And we're going back to Kiev Studio and, uh, and uh, Yuri Karpinski and, um, and Andriha Leider sum up everything which uh, you have mentioned. One minute for each. Andre, you are the first. But Mike, please don't forget about the mic. 
So on this day for the development of national infrastructure and for successful territorial mm -hmm. communities and in general uh, central executive bodies, uh, we on this particular mm -hmm. stage we have to develop in using digital technologies to form ge geospatial data, to form uh, qualitative instruments, tools, and to use to use uh, them for managing and decision ma making. Uh, Yuri, your uh, your summary. So, what is left is to wish. To, to say that uh, the development of national infrastructure in spatial uh, and spatial data is quite a lengthy process, and there are many levels of its development and implementation, etc. But uh, the one can finish his way who who follows it. So I wish you all the success on this. So we started with uh, the way uh, what Jim Hawk mentioned, and we do not finish, but we continue. We continue to follow this way, as Yuri Karpinski said. And uh, here we about to draw the line. And uh, on the, among the panelists, we have uh, Sergei uh, Kubak. Uh, so he's the head of Land Reform USAID Agro Program. Uh, thank you. At uh, the very end of uh, to my final word, I'd like to extend my gratitude to uh, all the t people, to the team who works on uh, the reform. Uh, first, it's uh, uh, parliamentarians, actually, who, who are really brave uh, in their defense of uh, uh, of reforms and all the technical personnel who work in the, the central uh, state cadastro, in mean region and mean uh, state cadastro, in order to provide all the changes which are go undergoing these days. They are revolutionary changes. And uh, let me reiterate this. These are the biggest changes and amendments when, when we have uh, um, uh, in, in land relations, especially in technical terms, in automation of the whole processes. And all these changes will be used not only by us right now, so and next generations will use them too. So I'd like also to uh, mention the next steps which we are going to take in this direction. So the main one, the main stage here is to implement these laws, these regulations, those new methods. Uh, there is no doubt, uh, definitely in the first place, uh, Kharkiv pilot project actually provides us with all the samples, uh, with the documents, with their data. We will we will promulgate them. We will uh, public them, uh, publicize them. We'll. Uh, share them with other communities, we'll prepare the recommendations for publishing. This publishing will uh, go through the sieve of expert pool in order to make kind of ideal uh, set of recommendation or guidelines so and every uh, professional architect or land manager can use these recommendations. Also, we will continue the program of uh, educational program. So we have several of them, and they are planned, and they will be uh, will take place uh, in next year. And we will definitely continue with cooperation with the association of local self-governing, uh, and uh, with the association of uh, the cities of Ukraine, and with other asso associations of uh, uh, agro producers. They also uh, stay in communication with us, and I'd like to thank to Andre for very professional moderating. This is not the first time when he is doing it, and especially in such difficult conditions. And the topic is not difficult. I thank you very much, Andre, for your pro for professional help and moderating. You are also an expert. Uh, you are now an expert in land management at, at the end. Let me extend my greetings. Uh, two days ago, there was a day of local self-governance, so I'd like to extend uh, my best wishes to uh, local uh, communities. Uh, it actually, it doesn't stop our work here. We continue to support the local communities. Uh, dear guests, uh, dear, dear colleagues, everyone who listened, who watched, maybe uh, for some time, maybe all, maybe you did all the way with us. All the questions which you, uh, all the questions which you put in the chat will be answered. 
uh, everyone who registered for this event will receive materials of this conference. Uh, the link for the uh, registering is uh, uh, in the description of it. So please leave your emails there. You will receive materials. Uh, and on my part, I'd like to say that so two years ago, I was uh, creating a, f uh, a program, uh, a radio program on uh, the reform of decentralization, which also was based on materials from Kharkiv Oblast. And also, uh, and I was happy to be there in Pisochin, in Rohan, and uh, to Today's, mod, uh, today's event I moderated with a special interest because I saw the potential air capacity. Unfortunately, I knew very little about the state geocadaster uh, back in the day. But uh, the fact that I meet these people again, uh, maybe personally I don't know them, but people from those communities, it proves that where there is a foundation, so these people are actually taken care of. So it's good to say we were given that opportunity. But who doesn't who take this opportunity does, doesn't and everything will be in vain. So I, I, I'm really happy that we, we didn't do that in vain. And I know that for sure that we did a great job today. Thank you ever, uh, very much, and we will continue our work.